the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a login UI design in Visual Studio Blend. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. And then select WPF app and fill out the project properties and click on the create button. Now let's change the window properties. Let's change the width to 400 and height to 500. And let's click on the allow transparency and change the resize mode and the window startup. Now let's change the background of the window to none and now let's create a rectangle on top of the window. Okay. Now let's create let's let's uh, resize this uh, rectangle created rectangle. Let's change the fill and the foreground color. So let's change it to a dark gray. Okay. Now let's remove the stroke and create a small rectangle on the corner. which will act as a placeholder for a button let's change its fill to dark gray now let's create a one more rectangle and place it at the back so right click on the created rectangle and send it to back Go to the align or the order and send it to back. Okay. Now let's start placing the controls. Let's start by placing the label, a text block, and change the text weight to bold and the text size to 14 and the foreground to a turquoise blue or maybe the aqua blue. Yes and change the text okay now let's uh add let's let's delete this uh, rectangle and add a button instead and change the button fill and the stroke to dark gray and change the foreground color to an aqua blue Now let's add the text blocks and the text boxes that we need for the sign up form and the login form. So let's change the text properties and the other uh, properties like the fill and the foreground color. And also let's uh, add a line underneath the text block which will act as a separator select the path and change its uh, fill and stroke and increase its size so that the line is visible okay now let's add a text box underneath it 
and uh, remove its background color and the stroke and let's add a default text just for your understanding also let's uh, change the alignment of the content to center now let's add this default text for the username and uh, let's copy the three controls and paste it by dragging and dropping using the alt key hold on to the alt key and use the mouse uh, to drag the three controls now now let's uh, drop this uh, text box let's delete this and add a password box instead copy the height from the first text box uh, just to re retain the form factor and uh, let's rearrange it apply the same properties as the text box and just add a default password just to make it visible for us okay now let's add a check box change the checkbox properties uh, let's change the background to none and uh, the foreground on the foreground to white and the borders or the stroke to aqua There you go. Now let's add a button and also change its properties. Let's add a label underneath it. And change the text to forgot password. Now let's group all the controls created and resize them, make them smaller and then arrange it. Now let's create all the created controls and group them and rename them. Okay, now bring the first rectangle, the darker one, to the front and resize it. And also copy the previous controls that we created for the lock-in. Copy them and paste them on top of the darker rectangle. Also, uh, here I am changing the uh, fill uh, to a gradient so that uh, there is a smooth transition.
now let's start uh, rearranging the uh, copied controls and also copies uh, make duplicates of the copied controls so that we can add some more controls to the uh, sign up ui Let's uh, group the sign up controls and rename them. Okay, now let's hide the sign up controls to begin with and uh, send the uh, darker rectangle to the background let's go to the login screen again and copy the forgot password text block and use it to create one more control which will trigger the animation which we'll be going to add next Now let's select the darker rectangle, bring it to the front and resize it to the start position. Also uh, move the don't have an account text block and the sign up uh, text block to the top. there you go guys uh, now we shall begin with the animation so let's create a storyboard and on the first keyframe on the first keyframe let's increase the uh, darker gray rectangle size and make the uh, sign up controls visible or the sign up grid visible Uh, here we are not seeing the controls because the sign up UI is on top of the rectangle. So let's rearrange the rectangle. Let's just move it on top of the sign up UI. And now that we are done with that, let's start again uh, by creating a storyboard. And uh, on the first keyframe, let's uh, increase the rectangle size and make the sign up controls visible so let's in decrease the animation period time frame and uh, let's set a trigger to trigger the animation on click of the on click of the sign up text block 
so there you go guys our login ui is ready thanks for watching bye bye